Oh my goodness. Look how pretty that is. Let me change your Netflix and chill game for you. Do you like that in there, Sunny? They look really nice. 65 days to go. Isn't that the prettiest bauble you've ever seen in your whole life? I'm gonna go for the chop. Say goodbye to this long hair. Hello everyone, good morning. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. It is Monday morning and I would like to address a couple of elephants in the room to start this vlog. So, I used a new tan last night, if you couldn't tell, and it's quite a lot darker than I thought it was gonna be. This is the one I used, it's from Coco and Eve. It is their barley bronzing foam in dark. Obviously they do the medium dark and ultra dark. I cannot even imagine the ultra dark on me. Even this one is a lot darker than what I'd usually use. So yeah, just wanted to address that. My tan wasn't supposed to be this dark, but here we are. Also, the hands. Oh my goodness, it's not a good tan for hands. You know how some tans just go on perfectly, it looks really natural, and other tans just don't? <laughs> this one doesn't. I've used a bit of tan remover on them this morning, I'm just gonna keep doing it throughout the day, because this is just not acceptable. I mean, in person it doesn't look that horrendous. It does look quite horrendous though. Second elephant in the room. I got a new plant over the weekend, Pamela is no more. I'm a little bit sad about it, I'm not gonna lie. But this is what Pamela was looking like. There was just no saving her. She was in my room for about four years and God bless her, she was a trooper. But by the end of her life, I mean, this just didn't look too pretty. So I got this one, it's from b and I have no idea what type of plant it is, but I really like it because it's like pale pink on one side of the leaf and then the underneath is burgundy. Look how pretty that is. But she doesn't yet have a name. She is a she because no males are allowed in this room or in my life. So let me know in the comments down below, what shall I call her? I think she's so pretty. Got a sleepy poops down here, but guys, I know I said I hated skinny jeans, but turns out the reason I hated skinny jeans is because mine was way too small for me. I ordered these ones last week from New Look and I love them. They're so comfortable. These are the Hallie jeans. I'm gonna order them in black as well. They're a really nice shade of blue. They're a nice thick denim. There's not much stretch in them, but they fit me really well. I got size, I think 28 waist, 32 leg, but I'm not too sure if that leg is right. Maybe 34 leg, I can't remember. Yeah, I think it was 34 leg actually, but I really like them. Anyway, I feel like I've just word vomited at you this morning. So I'm gonna head out now. I'm gonna head into town. I need to go to the bank. I need to post a parcel, and I'm gonna take Sunny for a little walk at the same time. Come on, lazy pooch. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Never mind your stretches, we need to go for a walk. Shall we go out? Oh, thank you. Happy Monday. Another week in puppy paradise. Guys, I'm not gonna lie. It has not been my Monday. <laughs> not the best Monday I've ever had in my life. It's now the evening. It's half past six. It's fully dark by like six o'clock now, so I've got my little light on here. Just so you can see my face, you're welcome. Since this morning, my mood has drastically decreased, to be perfectly honest. I actually saw Maddie Bruce talk about this in one of her weekly vlogs, and she said that like, everyone just hates Mondays. Mondays are so rubbish, so her and her friend take Mondays as the day off. And I think that is such a good idea if your job allows you to do so. Sometimes I use my Mondays as a really productive, fresh start. Usually I've planned my week Sunday night, so that really helps. But I find that whenever I don't do that Sunday night, my Monday is always rubbish. And that has been the case this week. I wish I'd just written a to-do list last night, but I didn't do it. So I put it off and then I said I'd do it today and it took me ages to do on, oh. Honestly, it's just been one of those days. I've also been very tired lately and I don't know why, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just having a puppy and having such a change of lifestyle to how life used to be or whether it's like my thyroid issue, I just don't know. But anyway, I'm gonna stop complaining now. I've decided I'm gonna treat myself this evening because I need a little pick me up. It's been a rubbish day, but I'm determined not to let it be a rubbish evening. So I've got my blanket, I'm sat upstairs, I've got my cosy lighting on, I've got my Himalayan rock salt lamp to get rid of the neggy vibes. I've got some of my fave chocolate galaxy cookie crumble, and I've also got 
some of these what are these sour watermelon sweets from candy kittens i love candy kitten sweets i might even put a face mask on go hard or go home and put on a bit of netflix and sit and have a chill a little self-care session some may say this is actually the perfect time to tell you guys about this new app that i've recently discovered let me change your netflix and chill game for you this section of the vlog is very kindly sponsored by surfshark surfshark are a vpn if you're thinking han what on earth is a vpn i'll tell you my friend so surfshark is an app and browser experience extension which basically lets you place your laptop anywhere in the world here she is she's in Essex right now but mentally she could be in New York you can also use it on your phone and it lets you access the internet as if you're in that country so you can access and unblock websites that you might not be able to see in the UK or wherever you're based for example I feel like UK Netflix is running a little bit dry sometimes I hate to say it if you've got any suggestions let me know in the comments down below but I have turned to American Netflix in my times of need a VPN is also an extra layer of security when you're online to keep your photos, your videos, your passwords all completely safe. When I first downloaded Surfshark, I was so surprised at how easy it is to use. You can literally just switch to another country like that. I wish it was that easy in person. So I use Google Chrome. As you can see, here I am on Netflix. I've downloaded the browser extension, so I'm just going to click at the top of the browser. As you will see, it says I'm in Glasgow. Mm, close enough. <laughs> and you can literally go to locations. I've been using New York click on that there we go voila and now if i refresh netflix voila american netflix is right here i've recently been watching at the circle usa if you know me and you've been watching my videos for a while you'll know that two of my friends were actually on the circle uk my best mates freddie and alex and i loved the circle so much series one and series two i couldn't get enough of it and i've discovered on the us netflix there is the circle usa the circle france and the circle brazil so i'm pretty happy about that i've started the circle usa i'm currently about to start episode four but picture this my friends imagine you're on a summer holiday loving life but it gets to nine o'clock and you think oh i wish i was watching love island at home all you got to do wherever you are in the world on holiday change your internet browser to the uk and voila love island at 9 p.m on ITVB right there at your fingertips. So if you're also a Netflix binger or if you want to have a self-care session like I am tonight, I'm going to leave a link to Surfshark in the description down below. Honestly, it's so easy. If I can do it, anyone can. And the lovely team are giving you guys a discount code. So if you use the code FABULOUS at checkout, you will get 83% off your order and three months free. Isn't that an absolute steal? It makes it £1.71 per month and they also offer a 30-day money-back guarantee so there's absolutely no risk go and check it out let me know if you download it and let me know if you find anything on american netflix or on any other websites not just netflix there might be 15 new netflix libraries to discover but there's a whole world of internet out there literally anyway i'm about to enjoy my candy kittens and start episode four of the circle usa it's called planting doubt fun fact this was also filmed in manchester in the same building as the uk circle bit of insider info for you there <laughs> this is what i think i am like I was on it, Jesus. Good morning everyone. It's actually the afternoon now. It's Tuesday today. This morning me and Sunny have been at puppy training. We call it puppy school because it sounds cuter. We've been at puppy school. Um, did lots of learning today and I am now on my way out for lunch. I'm going to meet my friend Chelsea for lunch today. We're going to our fave local cafe. We love going there and they've actually started a new scheme where you can pay it forward. So basically you buy like a coffee in advance and then they put a little post-it note on their board and if someone goes in, say if they've lost their job or something like that, everyone's going through a tough time right now, aren't they? We are all in this together. They can take a post-it note, take it to the till and it's prepaid for. So we're going there, definitely gonna do that. I just love the people in there. They're so lovely, so friendly. It's a real like local small business that I really wanna support. Let's get Adele back on. Isn't Chelsea lucky? <laughs> Oh, this is a good one. River Lee. River Lee. When I was a child, I grew up by the River Lee. And there was something in the water, now that something's in me. The River Lee. Here she comes. Hello. Hello. Here she is. Hello. Oh, look, you've got your normal curls back this week. Yeah, no. <laughs> 
We're now here guys, we're having our lunch. The food's just arrived, I've gone for the Moroccan soul bowl again. This is what I got last time we were here and it was so good. Chelsea has gone uh, for, gone for pancakes. look how good they look. Banana pancakes, that's one of my fave songs. Making banana pancakes, you know that song? No. Oh, never mind then. <laughs> got a bit of maple syrup as well. I'm very that looks so good, what a stat. This is mine, it has got, um, I can't remember what chicken it is, but I know it's nice chicken. I think it's like lemon harissa or something. I don't know. Can't remember, but very excited for this lunch. I'm about to take an Instagram and I even bought some fake um, glass with me. How sad. Three pounds from Primark. <laughs> There's some tunes in here today. My girls are loud. S Club 7, what's the Tuesday lunchtime? We've been defeated. How was yours, Chelsea? very good. I mean, I've done quite well how many there were. Yeah, you have done well. They were chunky pancakes. They looked delish. I've eaten all of mine except the um, flowers. So it's a little while later. I'm now home. It's actually about four o'clock now and I've just made some cookie dough. When I started, I had no doubt in my mind that you just make it and eat it. And then mum went, are you sure you don't cook it? And once she planted the seeds, I started to doubt myself. So I don't think you cook these. They're from Skinny Food. It says edible cookie dough, so surely. Well, it doesn't say cook it anywhere. So. It doesn't say to cook it on the instructions. Oh. This is what they turned out like. They look really nice. Come on, let's try one. It's an odd texture, but it tastes really mm. nice. It's like a step up from licking the bowl when you've made a cake. Mmm, a bit sticky in your mouth. Mm. Are you sure we don't cook it? Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday. I haven't done my makeup for a really long time, but I've put a bit of effort in today. <laughs> I'm actually gonna be filming a job today, which is why I've done my makeup. Usually I definitely wouldn't. But I've had a bit of like almost eczema come off my eye. I don't really suffer from eczema, but it's suddenly really dry on my eyelid and round here and a little bit round this eye as well. And I don't know why. I don't think I've used any different products, but then I don't really know because I use so many products all the time. I can't really remember. Don't think I've used anything different on my eyes, but I've reacted to something. That's another story. I'm trying to treat it with a bit of E45, literally putting this on morning and night. It started to flare up yesterday, but it does seem like it's got a little bit better overnight. Anyway, we're having a chill one today. Actually, I don't know why I said that because we haven't really. We went for a walk in the rain this morning and Sunny was soaked. Well, kind of. She wore her equa fleece, which is so handy. She was so nice and dry underneath it, but her little head and her feet were so muddy. I did give her a bath when we got back. She's down here now, just drying off, getting warm. I've got the heating on, so she's nice and toasty. A couple more harnesses just arrived in the post. Not gonna lie, I've got a bit of a harness addiction. These are the two new ones. How cute are they? Sunny's actually an extra small, which is the size this one is. And even the extra small, I have it like almost on the smallest settings to fit her. And this one is a size small. It looks massive in comparison, but this one was on sale and they only had a small. They didn't have extra small. But this is the brunch one. I really like it. It's got eggs on it. How <laughs> cute. And she is gonna be wearing this over a jumper anyway. I've ordered her a lilac jumper from Equifleece. So it will match that and it will go over that anyway. So hopefully it's gonna fit her, but I can't believe the size difference between the extra small and the small. Anyway, this dog doesn't need that many harnesses. I only got one dog, got about six harnesses for her now. It's actually ridiculous. And then later on, very exciting, I've got a hair appointment. I feel like I haven't had my hair done for ages and it's definitely looking a bit of a yellowy blonde now rather than a white blonde. I always ask for a white blonde balayage. I get quite a lot of questions about my hair. So that's what I ask for when I go to the hairdressers. I just get like the lightest toners. I just want it like white. I don't want grey hair. I don't really want it silvery. I just want like bright white basically. So that is what I have. And I have balayage because then when it grows out, my roots aren't as noticeable. It kind of all just blends in together. I am really lucky because I've got naturally blonde hair anyway. It just kind of enhances the blonde that I already have. And I think I'm going to go for the chop. I think I'm gonna cut quite a lot off today. Let me show you the length of my hair right now. This is my natural hair. I washed it last night, so please excuse it. It's a bit like frizzy. But this is the length of it at the minute, and I think I wanna go to like here, maybe? Oh, I don't know. My mum really doesn't want me to cut it. She hates when I cut my hair. But I like a change every now and again. It's gone all frizzy where I've tied it up in a bun. But my hair's not in bad condition at all. Like, it doesn't need to be chopped off. You know, when you need a good refresh. It doesn't feel like that. I just want a change. Do you know what it is? My mum took a picture a few weeks ago of me and Sunny. I'll put it on screen here. She took this picture and it's my natural hair. I hadn't done anything to it. And I saw that picture and I absolutely hated it. As soon as I saw it, I was like, my hair's gone so yellow. It looks way too long. I felt like I looked like a teenager. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I'm just not a teenager. And I was just like, Han, that hair 
is not the one for you, my friend. So that is why I want to change it. I want to go from long yellow to shorter white blonde. That's the plan anyway. That's what I'm going to tell my hairdresser. And she is literally like a miracle worker. I absolutely love her. She's going on maternity leave in 10 days. So I'm so glad that I managed to get an appointment. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. I was booked in with another hairdresser, Chelsea's hairdresser. But a cancellation came up with my normal girl. So I was like, yeah, okay, I'll take that instead. So I've managed to get in with my normal hairdresser before she goes on maternity leave. I'm so happy about it. I'm sure sure Chelsea's hairdresser would have been absolutely fine as well but you know when it's just familiar and I love the way Victoria does my hair hello everyone it's me again I am just about to pack away everything from filming today because I've actually finished filming for the day finished early look at me go so at 20 past three I need to leave for my hair appointment in about 10 minutes sorry you can't see my face isn't it so conspicuous what's that in the bottom of the shot Oh, it's the hanger. <laughs> Let me move that for you. There we go. <laughs> I love that everything now has a place in my office. It makes life so much... I was going to say karma, but that's not really the word. I'm a bit of an organised freak sometimes. Look at this huge bag the Body Shop sent me last week. How mental is this? They sent some of their Christmas gift sets. Here's a trio of body butters. Coconut and shea body butter and shower gel. This little drops of youth gift set. If you know me in person and you get any of these for Christmas. <laughs> I'm just joking, I wouldn't do that. Oh, look, there's another little bag. How cute are these? They're really nice material as well. Oh my God, there's loads in this one. Shea butter, shampoo and conditioner, body scrub, hand cream. All the goodies in there, look. The body shop always smash their Christmas scents out of the park. What an American saying. So their Christmas scents this year are warm vanilla, winter jasmine, and festive berry. This is a little hand soap. Oh my God, it smells like, it smells like a really familiar sweet, but I can't think what sweet it is. It's not, I feel like it's some kind of raspberry, like a chewy Haribo type thing. Do they do raspberry ones? Or blackcurrant? No, that's what it smells like, blackcurrant sweets. And then this, winter jasmine, this smells so good. It smells a bit like Christmas mixed with sun cream. There's a whole load of other stuff in here as well, loads of gift sets. So thank you very much to The Body Shop for very kindly sending that over. Do go and check out the Christmas gift sets. They are genuinely incredible and I'm always happy to receive them. I do also buy them for people in my life at Christmas because they're just such good value for money and everyone loves The Body Shop. You literally can't go wrong. Anyway, I'm about to head to the hairdressers, say goodbye to this long hair. I mean, I am being dramatic. I'm not going for like a full on bob. But I am going to cut quite a bit off, I think. How to keep life exciting during COVID. Just cut your hair. It's a few hours later and the final hair result. I love it. Honestly, this length is definitely a bit of me. It's such a nice change. I love the colour. This length is super cute as well. It's like a little bit longer than mid-length. I'd say it's between mid-length and long hair. I don't know how much I had taken off in the end. I think it's probably like four or five inches. It was quite a lot. It feels really thick. I'm really looking forward to the first hair wash post haircut because you know when you like run your fingers through it and it just stops you're like, oh my god, my hair's gone. I love that feeling. I said to my hairdresser, it's funny because I'm not an impulsive person at all other than when it comes to my hair then I literally like don't care for some reason I was like ah it'll be all right we can fix it it will grow back but I love this good morning everyone it is now Friday look at that bit of foliage in the side of the shop it's like I'm in the jungle <laughs> I've just got concealer on today and I've just realized how much of an egg I look I look like I have no facial features I'm just putting on a bit of lip balm this is my fave one at the minute it's from Dr Pawpaw it's the scrub and nourish so this side is a lip scrub and this side is a really nice lip balm anyway it is now Friday I am just about to pop out and take Sunny for a walk because it's still the morning time had a bit of a slow morning this morning but we got there in the end we're gonna go and have a little walk now and then we're gonna pop over to an equestrian shop my mum's coming as well very random i'm not into horses in fact i don't like horses they terrify me i think any animal that is bigger than you is just a no from me so i don't ride horses no one in my family rides horses but my mum wants to get some horse riding boots like ankle boots not like the long ones for actual horse riding 
but my brother's girlfriend has a pair of these boots she don't like horses either <laughs> we're such a family of fakes but these boots are really really comfortable apparently so we're gonna go and head over and have a look for my mum Sally's coming with us I phoned them this morning and they do allow dogs but you have to carry them so if you've got like a Labrador absolute no go that's the plan for this morning I haven't put any makeup on because when I come back I'm gonna do a full face of makeup and film what a boring start to Friday morning I've just rambled a load of nonsense at you apologies but one thing that is noteworthy is this cardigan I went to Asda yesterday to the food shop and they had this in the George section of Asda and I was like oh my god I really like that cardigan it's 14 pounds it's made from recycled I can't remember what it is um some recycled material cotton wool I can't remember but I really like it I've just got this bodysuit on underneath it got my skinnies on oh my god look at the dog behind me <laughs> so we're currently in the horse shop we've got no clue what we're looking at to be honest but dogs are only allowed in if they're in the trolley <laughs> So, Sunny, I'm just pushing her around like she's a baby. She doesn't mind it. She keeps getting a bit scared every now and again. Do you like that in there, Sunny? <laughs> I know, I'm here. I'm right here. Look at her little face. Look at you and your new harness. I think it's fair to say we stood out like a sore thumb in that shop. <laughs> Everyone else, I'm not even joking, everyone had like riding gear on, you know like when they wear the riding leggings, I don't even know if they're called leggings, trousers, I don't know, um, what are they? Jodpers. Jodpers. Jodpers, I've never heard that word in my life. Yeah, that's what people ride in. Jodpers, anyway, they wearing, had their jodpers yeah. on, um, and boots and stuff, obviously it's an equestrian shop, but we go in with our Nike trainers on, dog in the trolley. <laughs> and we didn't find what we wanted, so it was a bit of a wasted trip. And then mum took the wrong turning on the way back, so we added like an extra 15 minutes to the journey, but never mind. We're going back now, it's now lunchtime. We've been discussing what we're gonna have for lunch, but you've got to go to work, haven't you? So you've got to have a quick lunch. I'm gonna have a quick lunch as well, because I can't be bothered to do anything else. And probably have a pot noodle. Who knew chicken korma flavoured pot noodle exists? It's just currently doing its thing. It smells so good as well. Chicken korma is my fave curry. I do actually like spice, but I just love the taste of a chicken korma. Boring chats with Han. I did not know this exists though until I went to Asda yesterday. Just for those of you who misinterpreted when I mentioned skinny food the other week, some of you were worried that I was advertising weight loss products. I don't see skinny food as weight loss products. I don't think they should be called skinny food, but I can understand why they are because they're like stripped of all um, sugars and gluten and things like that. So I think that's why they're called skinny food, not because of the weight side of things attached to that word. But here's a little bit of balance for you. We all know I love my food. And today's diet, horrendous. I'll say it myself. For breakfast, I had apricot jam on toast with a cup of tea, of course. Then when I got back from Sunny's walk, I had an iced caramel latte with extra caramel syrup. Then for lunch, I had the chicken korma pot noodle. And now I'm sat here with a bag of chocolate buttons. <laughs> and let me tell you, I am making my way through them pretty quickly. If you don't double up your buttons like this, then what are you even doing, my friend? Makes it literally twice as nice. Okay, drastic change of plan. I've still got no makeup on. I've decided I'm not filming today. I'm filming tomorrow instead, which is why I haven't done my makeup in the end. But change of plan is we're on our way to another garden centre and I think we're actually going to buy some of our basic Christmas decorations today. We're going to see because we haven't been to this one yet. But I thought I'd mention this because we've got one of those Furbo dog cameras and honestly, I don't know, we could never be without it now. It stopped working briefly the other day because our internet was down and we popped out and it was horrible, wasn't it? it Going was, out yeah. not knowing what she was like. So I thought I'd quickly show you. We can see what Sunny's doing right now. Here we go. Here she is. Look, she's in her little room. So we leave her crate open when we pop out. You can zoom in as well. It's so good. She's down in her bed at the minute. She's fast asleep. Look at all this classic Christmas. This is the one that we came to that wasn't ready yet. So this is what we were missing out on. And look at this that I just spotted. 65 days to go. Has anyone else noticed that these gnome things are really popular this year? I don't know if it's because of Stacey Solomon or if Stacey Solomon just has one because they're popular. What do you guys think about wreaths? I really like wreaths. My mum doesn't really love them. We have got one. I really like this little one. I know it's very simple, but that's what I like. Mum said they remind her of funerals, but I never knew you have wreaths on funerals. Why is it you don't like wreaths? Funerally. <laughs> Told you. Oh my God, look, they've got another horse. What is it with Christmas and unicorns and horses yeah, and stuff? Oh my God, that's 260 pounds. Oh, they haven't even got the wings. Hasn't even got wings. But look how pretty this looks when you look around. I like all these colors. It's all very neutral. 
looks pretty. Oh, I can see our section right at the back over there. Oh, yeah. That's the section we're after. But there's loads more, they're everywhere. Have these ever been popular before? I've never seen them before. I feel like they're really popular this year for the first time. We've got so many different colours. What are they called? No idea. I oh, I can't them. remember what it is. Stacey Solomons is called Norm, but I don't think they're actually called Norms. Doesn't say. Mm. I can't remember, that's gonna really annoy me. They're not called Gnomes. Look at them all, there's a whole village. I think this is the section that we want, like the neutrals. I say we. <laughs> I mean, I think this is what we should do, but obviously it's your house as well, so you do get to decide. I'm not just gonna completely design our Christmas. We don't want pink rose gold though, do we? No. Something different. And we don't really want like shiny gold. Yeah, this is like in between rose gold and normal gold. It's really pretty colours. Alrighty then, just got home from the garden centre. Please do ignore Come Down With Me if you can see that in the background. But I thought I would show you what I bought. I'm very excited to decorate our tree this year. Did we need new Christmas decorations? No, we didn't. But did I want to buy some? Yeah. Obviously it wouldn't be fair to make my mum and dad pay for them because we don't need them. So I have got these Christmas decorations. So before you start being like, she makes her mum and dad buy the Christmas decorations? No, I didn't. So I'm going to show you what we picked out. Me and my mum picked them together. This isn't the only decorations that I'm going to get for the tree. This is just like the beginning. There are a few other garden centres I want to go to. So first of all, like the basics, I got these, this pack of Six, and you said four then. Can I count? No. A pack of six ball balls. Oh, I've just realized one is smashed. But these are three pound 50. I thought this was really good value for money, so I also got these ones. They're like a very similar gold. I kind of want to mix and match like the golds and silvers, and I know some people will be like, oh my God, you can't match gold and silver, but I'm gonna. I'm gonna match all the different metals in the tree apart from yellowy gold that's not invited i also got this pack of ball balls oh that's funny sniffing them like what's this this is called christmas i also got this pack these are slightly smaller these were these were a bag three pounds for all of those and then in that same color as that long tube i got these ones as well i thought these were smaller but looking at them Oh yeah, they are smaller. But I got two packets of these and these were one ninety nine each. I also got these. Now, these don't scream Christmas to me, but they were £1.50 and I thought they'd be a nice little variation other than the round ones. What are you doing back there? Oh, she's going to bed. Are you tired? Oh no, she's looking for toys. Lovely. Then like the pretty baubles are the ones that I'm going to build on. So I got a few to start me off. First up, look at this. Isn't that the prettiest bauble you've ever seen in your whole life? I absolutely love it. It was $2.99 and I actually got two of those. I also got this one for $1.49. This one's obviously white because we are going to have a little bit of white on the tree as well. But it's got like the perfect metal colours in it. Metal colours, is that the word? This one's probably my least fave, but I don't mind it. She said, yeah, I'm a disco diva. This one was £1.60. I think that's super cute. This was £1.50. How pretty is that? I love him. Then for $1.99 each, I got these. I really like these in a tree. I feel like they really add a bit of depth. <laughs> it's a bit of variety, isn't it? So you can like clip them on. They do have little clips, but I just slot them into the tree and you can like bend them because they've got wire in. So you can shape them however you want to. Oh, are you looking in the bag? So yeah, I've got one that's a bit more yellowy and one that's a bit more orange because I didn't want to get them both the same and I'm going to put them in the tree like this. I'm so excited to decorate the tree. And then the final thing I've got is actually for my YouTube background in my office. It's this little Christmas tree. I love the colour of this. I love it. It's quite simple. It was £5. It would be cheaper in Primark, I think, but I still really like it and I think it will look cute on my shelves. So yeah, that's everything that I got for our very first Christmas shop. Like I said, I'm going to go to a few different garden centres to find like some more unique baubles. I want to get some different shapes that aren't circles because a lot of these are circles. I want to get more like this little reindeer one. I love classic Christmas. We usually go red and gold on the tree, but this year we wanted something different and we're all loving neutral tones. I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> Yeah, like I was saying, we're all loving neutral tones at the minute, so what better way to decorate our tree than sparkly neutrals? Am I right? Yes, I am. Yeah. What? You don't like the Christmas? You do like the Christmas. Yeah. That reminds me, actually, I also got this little bauble. Wow, nice camera angle, Han. I got this little tree decoration on Etsy last yeah. week. <laughs> How cute is that? Our first Christmas 2020. Sunny, and it's got a little cut out. I know I'm so extra. I may or may not have got her a Christmas stocking as well. Here's a lucky puppy. 
Hey. Oh, Christmas cuddles. Good morning. It is now Saturday. Please ignore my cat Slater jacket in the background. I'm actually going to put that on Depop. There's a couple of bits here that are going on Depop. First of all is this. Or in fact, if you want this, just message me on Instagram. I think I'm going to sell this for £20. Um, it was from Topshop. It's brand new. Look, it's still got the label in it and it was £45 and I've never worn it. So I reckon 20 quid for that. Look at me doing a boot sale on a Saturday morning. And the other one I'm going to sell is this vintage Adidas jacket. This is really nice but I've just never worn it. It's got like poppers on the pockets. Obviously it's purple and white. It's got a hood as well and the ends of the sleeves are like cuffed. It is really nice. I'm going to sell that for I think £20 as well. So... Yeah, let me know if you want them. <laughs> They'll be in my bedroom here until someone messages. If not, I will stick them on Depop because I feel like someone else will love them. They're just not really my style anymore. Anyway, curled my hair for the first time this morning since I had it cut and I really like it. I can never curl it exactly how my hairdresser does. The way she does it is incredible. She uses one of those um, barrels with the tong thing. I don't know what it's called, but she like wraps it in and clamps it and whatever. I just can't do the same myself. But I'm still really happy with this length. And you can see the colour a bit better now that the toner has washed out. I washed it last night and the purpley toner has washed out now. In case you didn't see it on my Instagram story, I'll insert a video here of what it looked like from the back the day that it was done. I just love the way Victoria curls my hair. She's amazing. Anyway, Saturday, I have edited this whole vlog up to this point so far this morning. Very proud of that because usually I'm rushing on a Saturday evening. Saturday evening is like my busiest time of the week because I'm rushing to try and get the vlog done. I really need to sort my schedule out and edit every day because what's the point in rushing when I don't have to I could be doing it throughout the week but anyway I've done it Saturday morning most of it is done very happy about that feeling right smug about it but I'm gonna treat myself I'm proud I've got my work done this morning and me my mum and Sunny are gonna go out for lunch I think we're gonna head into Lee which is like a really little it's next to South End it's really quaint it's got like cobbled streets it hasn't got a massive town it's like a fisherman's town it's a really nice place it's got loads of small businesses and antique shops so I think we're gonna head there for lunch today the weather is not that great it's supposed to rain from four o'clock it's only 10 to 12 right now so I reckon if we get going we can go and have some lunch they also sell doggy lunch <laughs> so cute but Sunny's actually been a bit poorly the past couple of days so I'm gonna take her normal lunch with us and that's it that's all that's happening today yummy lunches puppy cuddles and a very little amount of work to do later on tonight Woohoo! oh my gosh look we match oh my god our hair is like exactly the same color now oh matchy matchy she looks like she's got no head there it is. Okay, so we've just got here. We've come out for lunch. We're at a place called Sarah's Tea Garden in Leon Sea. And Sunny's with us. They're very dog friendly here. So we've got Sunny a doggy sausage. Our food's just arrived. I've gone for the coronation chicken jacket potato. And mum has jacket potato with beans and cheese. And Sunny has a doggy sausage, which I think is actually just a sausage for dogs. Good girl. That's how I feel as well, Sunny. <laughs> Anyway guys, that brings us to the end of this weekly vlog. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below what is one series that you would recommend I watch right now now i might even start watching it on the sunday you're watching this video if you're a bit of a series binger don't forget to go and check out surf shark there's a link to it in the description down below and of course use the code fabulous to get that massive discount honestly such a steal but anyway guys thank you very much for watching i hope you've had a lovely week and i hope next week treats you well and i'll see you again on thursday with another little video bye guys love ya